Wood once ruled the world, but not the way you think. Before steel beams and concrete slabs, builders found a brutal, elegant way to make timber behave like stone. They didn't coat it. They didn't reinforce it with metal. They crushed it on purpose. And that single forgotten technique is why some medieval buildings refuse to die. If you value knowledge that still works centuries later, tap subscribe like you're locking a door before the storm hits. How Medieval Builders Fought Wood's Greatest Weakness Raw wood is strong, but it moves. It swells, twists, cracks, and rots. Medieval builders knew this intimately. Their solution was pressure. Not casual pressure. Relentless, controlled force applied over time using massive screw presses and weighted frames. Timber beams were compressed slowly, sometimes for weeks, forcing air pockets out of the grain. The result was denser wood with fewer voids, tighter fibers, and dramatically improved strength. This wasn't guesswork. Builders understood that wood fails where space exists inside it. By collapsing those spaces, they turned timber into something closer to engineered material. Once released from the press, the wood didn't spring back. It stayed compact, harder, heavier, more stable. What compressed wood actually changed. Pressed timber resisted warping. It absorbed less moisture. It burned slower. Nails held better. Joints loosened less over decades. When used in frames, floors, and load-bearing walls, it distributed weight more evenly and reduced long-term sag. This is why some medieval halls stood firm while newer buildings around them collapsed. Compression also aligned the fibers. That alignment mattered. Stress traveled through the beam instead of tearing it apart. In modern terms, this was early material engineering done with muscle, patience, and, well, brutal efficiency. Why the press disappeared. Speed killed it. Industrial sawmills and mass construction favored fast drying and rapid assembly. Steel arrived. Concrete followed. The press demanded time, space, and labor. It didn't fit an economy built on shortcuts. So the knowledge faded. Not because it failed, but because it was just too slow for a profit-driven building. Ironically, many modern wooden structures fail in exactly the ways medieval builders had already solved. Warp, creep, moisture damage, structural fatigue. The press addressed all of it without chemicals or complex machinery. Where the method quietly survived, shipbuilders kept versions of it alive longer than architects. Wagon makers too. Anywhere failure meant death, compression remained. But once safety margins shifted to metal, the technique retreated into obscurity. Yet archaeological analysis of surviving medieval structures shows pressed timbers consistently outperform untreated wood of the same age. Denser, more intact, less degraded. Time proved the method, even when history forgot it. So, what does all this mean for survival thinking today? Well, this isn't just nostalgia. It's really a lesson. Strength, you know, isn't always about adding more. Sometimes, it's about removing weakness. Pressure, when it's applied with intention, transforms materials and, honestly, people alike. Medieval builders didn't try to overpower nature. Instead, they disciplined it. For modern survivalists, builders, and thinkers, the wood press is a reminder that real resilience comes from preparation, not just convenience. The past wasn't primitive. In fact, it was precise. So, why does this knowledge matter now? As interest in sustainable building returns, compressed wood is quietly re-entering modern research under new names and machines, laminated beams, densified timber. But the principles are, well, identical. Pressure. Time. Control. Medieval builders didn't have laboratories, but they sure had results. And those results are still standing today. If this kind of forgotten field-tested knowledge matters to you, go ahead and subscribe to History's Survival Code and share this with someone who thinks modern automatically means better. Some secrets don't really age, they wait.